At Arts and Scraps, we don't make art. We make artists. We don't make inventions, we make inventors. We don't make design, we make designers. And all of that is done through the resources of the community coming together and forming this crazy thing called Arts and Scraps. My name is Ange Adamak, and I have been at Arts and Scraps for over five years. Uh, Arts and Scraps is a nonprofit on the east side of Detroit that uses recycled materials to help people reimagine education and reused materials. Um, really, we're here to be a resource to the community. Our passion is helping people reimagine whatever they find, whether it's here or at home, um, and turn it into a new experience. Uh, at Arts and Scraps, we center in on education, but we really believe that everything that we do, everything that you do, can be education. My name is Dana. I'm affectionately known as Mr. D. I'm one of the instructors for Arts and Scraps. I have a long history with Arts and Scraps, but I've been working for Arts and Scraps for six years. But I've had probably a 28-year relationship with Arts and Scraps. And I can sum up the most um, demonstrative thing that I can think of that sort of sums up why I love arts and scraps. When we go, I'm probably in front of children maybe two, three times a week. And I can say that we put pretty much the same materials in front of children at every experience. And I have yet to walk away from an experience where I haven't seen an absolute new application that I never thought of with the same material. For example, uh, we have a project where we ask kids to make journals. And normally we take and we tie our journals together with a piece of yarn. Uh, I had a kid who came up and we had these little shiny stickies, metallic stickies. And this kid came up with the idea of just simply folding this little tab in the crease and that holds the book together. And I thought, oh my gosh, that is so brilliant. And it's those kinds of things that I see every single time I'm in front of not only children, but adults and teachers. Arts and Scraps strives to be a resource to the community, but we're also resourced by the community, which means that local businesses like Detroit Denim or even Unique Manufacturing that gives us industrial materials allow us to be able to serve people like really talented, uh, crazy interesting artists all the way to small business owners as well as teachers and families. So our store is open three days a week and every single day it's a complete different mashup of people from the city and the suburbs and from all different levels of income and background um, and it's this wonderful mixing pot of people that's interacting not only about their own creative ideas but also about the materials they're going to use and where they're going to use them. Arts and Scraps is resourced through the community, through businesses and individuals for stuff, right? We have tons and tons of stuff. We'll never run out of garbage in this world. However, we want to turn that into education. So we take all of those materials and repackage them into educational kits and use that to go to schools and teach STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math through art integration. So we go into a school and um, help build the future. And we can't do that without support from all kinds of people. One of the things we say at Arts and Scraps is you make it magic. It's thousands and thousands of individuals coming together to make a difference in the community. Not only reusing and recycling materials, but helping build a future where uh, we have innovators and artists and designers leading the future of Detroit.